ahead and go. As happy as I like mustard. Yeah. <laughs> happy birthday, oh, Daniel! <laughs> okay, okay, maybe maybe less. <laughs> a little less manic. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Daniel. Where are we? Happy birthday! <laughs> I have food in my mouth, Robin! <laughs> happy birthday, Daniel! Have a wonderful day! Happy birthday! Daniel! <laughs> happy birthday, Daniel! That's perfect! <laughs> happy birthday, Daniel! I obviously gave you the happiest birthday because I got like insert number of how many people I'm gonna end up getting to say happy birthday to you to say happy birthday to you which automatically means that my happy birthday is worth more yeah so I've been walking by this antique shop for you know the duration of my being here it seems like the kind of place that you'd like so since you can't go here yourself I'm gonna go shopping for you yeah it's about as awesome as I expected it to be So this is when, like, nine people walked into the store and I got all nervous and stopped talking, so the remainder of this will be completed with voiceover. How this is going to work is that I'm going to go through the store and find all the cool stuff. A lot of the stuff is either impossible to fit into my luggage home, way out of our price range, or both. However, if I flash a price tag after I show an item, I've deemed it travel-worthy and potentially in your price range. If mom puts that amount into my checking account, or you promise to pay me back when I get home, I will go back and buy it before I leave. Two things should be noted before you make any decisions, though. First, I have already bought you something. It isn't shown in the video, because surprises and deal with it. Secondly, I'll spot you an extra $5 if you do decide to buy something else, because... birthday. Anyway, some of the highlights of the shop included many typewriters, a light which I swore was a fan when I first saw it, some cool old toys, the pre-electrical equivalent of a vacuum cleaner, a drop-side toaster, which is now my new favorite kitchen appliance ever. And yes, I have a favorite kitchen appliance. A vintage hard hat. A lot of really old license plates. Newspapers that are over a hundred years old. And two really cool old pairs of glasses with gold rims. Also of note are a 1930 edition of the Boy Scout Handbook and a slide rule. Side note, it suddenly occurred to me that I haven't the slightest clue how a slide rule works, and it bothers me. So that's being added to the list of summer projects. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed your virtual trip to that antique shop by my dorm. I've just got one last thing. Happy birthday, Daniel, and look forward to the surprises from Shady Lawn Antiques in Walla Walla. <laughs> Good plug. There you go.